Macy's joined the list of retailers opening on Thanksgiving Eve. Here to talk with us now, Macy's CEO, Terry Lundgren. Terry, thank you so much for, having, for joining us today. Thanksgiving Eve sales, how were they? They were terrific. It was just great to see that we had 15,000 people outside of our doors at Macy's Herald Square just before 8 p.m. as we opened. That, that compared to 11,000 at midnight the year before, so obviously customers were demanding that we be open uh, early. That is just unbelievable. But here we are this morning, Black Friday, the day. How are sales so far? It feels really good. Um, it feels really good. In fact, it's now it's like a very busy Saturday afternoon here, even though we've been open for several hours already. So. Uh, we're feeling great, and, and they're finding all of the key items. You know, we've, we've got items of great value throughout the store, whether it be in these 1999 Rampage boots for, for the millennial young consumer, or whether it be the coat department, which is on fire, from Michael Coors or Calvin Klein, our own ink brand, all these fantastic values of $79 coats and cashmere sweaters are flying off the racks. Wow, so I might have to go up there and check them out after $39 this. $39.99 <laughs> for cashmere, where are you gonna find that for this quality cashmere? <laughs> So, you know, there's been a lot of talk this season about just sort of the relevance of Black Friday at this point. There's so many deals, retailers all month long, going into the Christmas season. Is Black Friday still relevant? Black Friday will be the single largest day of the retail year, certainly in the case of Macy's. We'll do more business on this day uh, than on any other uh, day of the year. So it's really important. It is the start of the holiday season, but more important this year than ever because there's six fewer shopping days between now and Christmas. And so customers are figuring that out. They're looking at the calendar. They're trying to figure out when are they going to get all the gifts for their friends, for their family, and they need to come in right away. And so I think people are figuring that out, and that's why I think this is going to be another record-breaking day for us. Wow. So another trend that's going on this year, mobile shopping. Can you give us a sense of how much of Macy's sales is coming from mobile devices? Well, many customers today are starting their journey with their phone. They're deciding where they're going to shop based on what their research suggests. And unfortunately, we're very connected to the mobile consumer. So they're, they're, but, they're, but the important thing is, is that most customers are also not actually buying with their mobile device, but actually wanting to come in the store. They want to touch the cashmere to see the difference in quality. They want to try on the shoe. They want to sit in the chair or, or look at the, the blender they're about to buy. And so that's the omni-channel consumer. Start with your phone, come in and touch the product, and they may, they may even go home and buy it online, by the way, but that's the customer that we're seeing and experiencing. We don't think that trend, trend is going to change. It's just going to continue to grow, and it's really good for us. Yeah, of course. So this year, another one of the trends that we're seeing is a clear delineation between the high-end consumer and the low-end consumer. Can you give us a sense of how sort of your higher-end brands may be doing in terms of sales versus maybe some of the mediocre or lower-end brands? Well, the one great thing about Macy's is we're the largest seller of, of most of the major brands. We're the largest seller of Ralph Lauren, largest seller of Tommy Hilfiger, we're in fact the only seller of Tommy Hilfiger, the largest seller of Michael Kors, Calvin Klein, Inc. brand, all these different brands. Yeah. And the customers want those, the credibility of those fashion brands. And so for us, but at the same time, we also are very focused on value. So we don't just do one or the other. That's the great you know, magic of Macy's, if you will, is to have the, all these well-known uh, the power brands and at the same time making sure that within them we offer this great value of product. Is Macy's taking market share from JCPenney? Well, I think Macy's is probably taking market share from most retailers. I mean, we, if you saw the third quarter results, we were up 3.5% on same-store sales, but actually we were up 4.6% when you include the, the, the licensed businesses such as Foot Locker and Sunglass Set and all that, which is the true demand of our customers purchasing in our stores. So we're, I think we're taking market share from specialty stores, from department stores, from a, a lot of stores. Customers have been choosing Macy's, and that's obviously good for our business. Sure. So, last question. Now that Martha Stewart is exclusively Macy's, do you expect the line will be strong for the holiday season? Martha Stewart's always been exclusively Macy's. There was some confusion there for a while, but the brand's always been exclusively Macy's, and we're a big supporter of this brand, and we're going to sell a lot of her product over the holidays.